Hi there, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about learning styles. Have you been struggling with school or a specific class or has your child been struggling? It might not be the topic, it might be the teacher with their teaching styles or the way that the topic is taught. So in today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about the Howard Gardner's eight learning styles. Hi there and welcome to the Booksters Club where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. Today's featured book is A Mind at a Time by Mel Levine, MD, and today's inspirational thought comes to us on page number 91. It says, Vastly more extensive and strenuous use of memory is required for school success than is needed in virtually any career you can name. Students must store and retrieve mounds of facts, skills, and concepts across unrelated subject areas and topics. Math procedures, spelling words, dates and history, foreign language vocabulary, and chemical symbols and balances all get crammed into a young mind's crowded storage silo. In creating this demand, education imposes an ever-growing burden on the neurodevelopmental functions that together make up memory capacity. Memorizing something is very different from learning something. In fact, Leela Hoodwan said that memorization stops the students from thinking critically about the topic and that is not actually learning. It's important that when we are learning something new that we go about it in an organic way so that it sticks. When we just try to memorize something to spit it out for a test, we won't be remembering it for the next test we have to take in the following years to come. The way that we go about learning can be approached by so many different angles. Unfortunately, when we go to school, um, our teachers really have a specific style that they like teaching and sometimes certain topics can only be taught in a certain way, but there are so many different ways of going about learning. In fact, uh, Miriam Kleinflug said that it is well known that it is good for our brains to continue to learn new things throughout life which is why understanding the different ways in which we learn and store knowledge could be beneficial and help each of us to find out which way of learning suits us best. So um, in this video, I've included the Howard Gardner's eight styles of learning to figure out not only which way suits you best, but which way you should be learning something so that it sticks. Number one, visual. These are people who like to use images to process information. They're really good at reading maps. In fact, they like coloring, drawing, and doodling. They have a great sense of color balance. Number two, oral. These people prefer to learn new things through rhythm and clever rhymes. They actually find that music evokes strong emotion and they like listening to music in the background because it helps them to focus and to study. They're good at oral reports and they actually work through problems by speaking out loud. Number three, verbal. These are people who like to have things explained to them and process information by reading things out loud better. Also, they are gifted with learning new languages, they have excellent vocabularies, and they work really well in large groups because they ask excellent questions. Number four, physical. These are people who don't learn anything until they do it themselves. They're very hands-on and they appreciate the world around them when it comes to textures. Also, they have excellent motor memory skills. They can do it once and then they've got it down. And also, they have high energy and they like to speak with their hands. Number five, logical. These people will learn new things only if it makes sense. They like to play games like chess and brain teasers and they like to group and classify things in order so that they can better understand them. Also, they like to plan out agendas and itineraries and they create procedures for future use. Number six, social. These people enjoy group activities and enjoy bouncing ideas off of other people to help them better process information. Others find them very trustworthy and they're actually pretty good at resolving conflicts with others because of their interactions with other people on a constant basis. Number seven, solitary. These are people who like to work alone and prefer to work at their own pace. They are excellent at self-management skills and they do struggle in large crowds. These people are actually excellent at self-analysis. Number eight, naturalistic. This is one of the newest additions to the gardener's theory and these people enjoy being outdoors and actually have a hard time processing information if it doesn't have a relationship to nature. These people find that it's easy to categorize and catalog information. They like to get their hands dirty and explore. 
adopting the idea that you're not smart because you simply got an F in a particular topic is something that I hope you will reconsider. When a teacher has a certain style of teaching, um, and if it doesn't work with your style of learning, it doesn't matter what the topic is, that information just ain't getting in. And if you were in a situation in school where you actually excelled one year in that topic and then the next year you had the same topic and then you really declined, well, that just illustrates exactly what I'm talking about. It's just the different teaching and learning styles. So if you're struggling with that at all, take a look at one of these things and see what, if any, if you're a combination of them, um, to see what way you will better be able to absorb information. If any of these things have helped you, I would love to hear about that in the comments. If you had a different take on this part of the book, a different part in the book, or a different book entirely that you think should be featured here on the Bookster's Club, I would love to hear about that as well in the comments. Thank you for clicking the like button if you like this video and found it useful and valuable. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you're new because I post new videos just like this every single day. See you tomorrow, Booksters. Code one. Hold one. Hold one? Leela, hold one. How would you say that? Hold one. I'm gonna say it funny. Hold one? Leela, hold one. <laughs> Leela, hold one. Okay. In fact, Leela, Leela, hold one. It is not learning at all. And that it is not actually learning. Rhythm or clever rhyme, clever rhyme. That was really good, but you looked away. You never look away. Out there, organized day. It's a better to just they just create. I'm almost done. Okay. They are found to be very trustworthy. They're trusted. Stop saying trustworthy. Okay. And people often trust them, and they're usually trusted. Trust. Just say trustworthy. People find them to be trustworthy. Okay. And they also find <sighs> and they're trusted. Trustworthy. Joy group activities and are you already said that. Ah, you did it. They love self-analysis and Lincoln. Um done. Done. Please be recording.